All right, guys, we're doing a Random Letters box of 2018 Historical Autographs, Presidents of the United States Premium Edition. Um, we're doing four boxes in a row. We have a four-box case here. This is uh, case number 53 of 108. So let's go ahead and first get uh, determine how many times we're going to randomize a list of participants and letters. What we'll also do is we'll use the roll of the dice to determine how many times we're going to randomize a list of box numbers to determine which box we're going to use. Good luck. All right, so we're going to randomize our list five times across the board. So let's start with our participants in box number nine. Thanks, Jeffrey. I appreciate it, man. Uh, our participants in box number nine, Barber 1168 at the bottom and R9 2000 at the top. Five times on the draw. Good luck. One, two, three, four, and five. J Dog X1 at the top and at the bottom, so he's pushing both ends against the middle. Got here just in time for some historical autographs there, Jeffrey. Welcome to the room. All right, on to our letters the A, I, and N combo at the top and W at the bottom. Uh, they might be gray at a surface, J squared. Five times on draw. Good luck. One, two, Three, four, fifth and final time. Good luck, everybody. Five. The letter S, at the top, the letter H, at the bottom. All right, guys. Let me get you guys in order here. All right, guys, here are your letters. Best of luck. Barber1168 with A, I, and N. CB Mac G, the letter R. Coach up X, the letter G. D, uh, Doc, Doc T. Olson with K, V, and W. Frank with F, L, and P. Uh, J Dog X1 with the S, uh, with S, B, C, H. Jeff Greeno with the letters E and Z. J Frey 77, the letter M. Josh Hattinger with the letter T. J Period 26, the letters J, O, and Q. And R9 2000, you have the letter D. Hey, Juan, or, or Jose, how you doing, man? All right, those are your letters, everybody. Good luck. I'm going to do this. Let me get your names on the screen first. And then we will do the draw to determine which box we're going to use. All right, so I'm going to put your letters here on the right side of the screen. Since usually with letter breaks, I usually do it a little different than if we do teams. There you go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the box, or open up the case, expose the four boxes, assign box numbers, and then we'll do a draw to determine which box we'll use for this break. All right. I actually have these been upside down. There we go. Now we got them right side up. Okay. All right. So. We'll just assign these box numbers as we see them here. So one, two, three, and four. And let me go ahead and pull up a randomizer that has box numbers one through four on it right here. All right, so I'll randomize this list five times after the fifth draw. The box number it shows on top is the box we'll use for this break. Good luck. One, two, three, four. Fifth and final time, good luck. Five. Uh, we're going to use box number four. Box number four after the fifth randomization. So we're going to use the box at the bottom. The other three boxes will be saved for numbers 10 through 12, which will be coming up in succession right after this one. All right, so let me go back to the other screen here. Your names are back up there. All right, guys, good luck. Let's have a little fun. All right, there's the base set. Here's the pouch with the coins and stamps cards. And again, for anybody who's new to our breaks, after at the end of the break, we do a random draw of the 16 participants in the break. After, after the random draw, the name that's at the top of the list gets the box, and the second name on the list gets the base set. All right.
All right, guys. Stamp cards first. Good luck. Uh, first up, John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams. Uh, six cent po six cent postage stamp. John Quincy Adams. The letter A going to Barber eleven sixty eight. And that one's serial numbered 75 out of 90. All right. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and print up these lists for each of these breaks as opposed to writing the names on them. All right. Next up, uh, Chester A. Arthur, also for the letter A, 21 cent United States postage stamp. And again, the letter A going to Barbara 1168. <laughs> 29 out of 75. 29 out of 75 on that one. All right, next up. How about George Washington? How about a stamp card of George Washington with a five cent United States postage stamp of George Washington? The letter W, Doc T. Olson. That one's serial number 48 out of 90. All right, on to our coins cards. First coin that we got is uh, Franklin Pierce, who had, always had a really bad hair day. Um, genuine U.S. coin, Franklin Pierce. The letter P is going to Frank. That one's numbered 18 out of 18. This looks like a quarter. It's got to be a quarter from the year he was in office. So an 1853 quarter. Yeah, yeah quarter dollar. That's it. Yeah. Got an 1853 quarter embedded in there. That's kind of cool. All right, next up we got W. George W. Bush. With a genuine United States quarter right there. And that's an Uno de Uno right there. One of one. It's a Texas quarter uh, from the year 2004, uh, 2004. One of one. The letter B going to J Dog X1. Yeah, same thing goes with this bush. I, I'm not really understanding, yeah, how the numbering's working on some of those. All right, so I'll go ahead and get those written down in a little bit. All right, next up, we got our two cut autos. And usually to put the, pres the president one on top, so we'll do this to expose the other one first. See if I'm right or wrong. All right, guys, our first cut is... Oh, this is the president one. What do you know? Uh, Harry Truman. Harry Truman. There you go. Uh, the letter T going to Josh Hattinger. And for these ones, I got much bigger, much bigger post-it notes that I have in plenty of supply here. There you go. Congratulations, Josh. It's a nice piece right there. Harry Truman. Our other cut autograph is a cabinet auto, Felix Grundy. Felix Grundy, the letter G. The letter G going to Coach FX. There you go, Frank. Uh, good old Coach FX. There you go. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for the break itself. We do have a random draw to do for the box and for the base set. I usually put the red the red thing in there at the box. So let's go back and pull up your uh, list, of, list of names here again. All right, this is uh, the list as it was when we got your letters. We're going to randomize this list an additional three times. After the third draw, the top name will get the box. The second name will get the set. Good luck. Uh, one, two, and three. All right, Jeff Greeno, you got the box. Congratulations. J Frey 77, you got the base set. All right, guys, that does it for a break. Thank you, everybody, for watching and joining. Congratulations, all the lucky hitters, and until next one.